Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create an eye reflection in Nuke. So let me just play through this effect quickly, it's really subtle. Um, so as you can see in our eye, if I play this back you'll see a reflection of a guy falling and we actually use this in our short film The Piano for the My Road Reel short film competition. So yeah, let me show you guys uh, how we did that using Nuke. So first of all, I'm just going to bring in two clips. So let me just drag these two into Nuke. And uh, if we look at the first one, then we've got this close up of uh, this woman. And um, then we've got another shot that we're going to use as the reflection. So this is just a guy sitting in front of a piano and basically shoots himself and he falls off the little chair. So we're going to use this as a reflection um, in her eye. So it's a really simple effect, but let me show you guys how to do this. So first of all, we need to start with a roto. So the shot is not that long. I'm just going to play through it quickly. Um, it's probably about uh, it's 108 frames. So yeah, not that not that long. So I'm going to create a roto node, and I'm not really going to connect it to anything just yet. Um, and on that roto node, I'm just going to zoom in here a little bit, and I'm only going to do it for the one eye uh, for this tutorial. So I'm going to zoom into her eye, probably something like that. And I'm just going to draw a uh, rough roto shape around her eye, something like that. And uh, then you obviously just need to go through and just track that shape or just roto uh, that shape to the movement of her eye. So I'm just going to do it really rough uh, for this for this demonstration. Um, and I'm just going to fast forward through this quickly. So I'm done with the basic roto. As you can see, it's a very, very rough roto uh, just for demonstration purposes. And uh, then basically what you want to do is we're going to add a merge node. So let's add a merge. And um, usually it's A over B. So I'm going to take the A pipe and connect that to my reflection. And the B pipe I'm going to connect to my eye footage. And let's just connect the viewer to the merge node. And uh, then if I double click on my merge node, I'm just going to bring down the mix here so I can actually see both layers and I'm just going to press H to just fit this to the viewer and then we want to resize our reflection because obviously it's way too big um, so I'm going to create a transform node and I'm just going to slot it in just underneath our reflection and if I double click on my transform node I'm going to scale it down so just bring the scale down um, you can probably make it quite small something like that and then I'm going to move it over the one eye so let's just zoom in here a bit um, let's see here uh, so you can scale it down quite a bit actually, something like that. Just make sure that it's uh, covering the, the eye completely. Um, maybe something like that, that's fine. And uh, then we want to tell this merge node to actually use that roto that we created as a mask. So you'll see on the side of the merge it's got a mask input and you simply connect that to your roto and then it will actually use that as a mask. So if you play through this you'll see it should kind of very roughly move uh, according to that to that roto that we created. Um, now obviously we've got some very hard edges here and I just want to blur my roto. So on the roto node I'm going to create a blur node and um, then I'm just going to increase the amount of blur maybe something like that that should be fine so if you play through this you'll see um, that it, we've got the reflection and you can see a hard line here and this is probably this um, footage that's slightly too small so let me just close this down go into this transform node and just move it over a little bit so we don't see that line uh, on the edge there okay that's looking much better and lastly all you need to do is go into your merge node again and then you want to play with this amount the mix amount so obviously if this is set to 1, it will be 100% opaque, that's not what we want. And if you set it to 0, you won't be able to see the reflection at all. So you basically just need to play with this amount to see where it's looking good. Probably here at around 0 0.1, uh, maybe 0 0.2, uh, that's looking good. Let's just zoom out here a bit and uh, let's just zoom in slightly. Okay, so if I play this back quickly. All right, and there you can see the reflection in our eyes looking quite nice. Um, another thing that you can do if your reflection is a bit too sharp, so let me just zoom in here a little bit, uh, we can add a blur to that reflection and you can just add it below your transform node. So I'm just going to add another blur here and you can just change uh, or play with this amount just so that the, the reflection is not too sharp. 
maybe like one or between one and two that should be fine okay let's just render that quickly okay and there you go you've got a nice reflection it's not too sharp it's looking good uh, but it's all about playing with that mix amount on your merge node and also the amount of blur on your reflection so uh, yeah this is obviously only the one eye but you can follow the same procedure to um, add that reflection to the second eye as well so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and uh, also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to see more visual effects tutorials like this one cool have a good one and i'll see you guys next time cheers bye